PL is set to announce its Q4 numbers. Uh, what are you expecting? Well, uh, it should be a good set of numbers. On a year-on-year -year basis, the numbers will look very, very good. If you just pull up the stock, yesterday we had uh, you know, the markets that were wobbling around, but there was some buying that was seen telling you that the street was already bracing itself for a pretty good set of numbers, and they look good. Top line growth, we are anticipating of around 24 25%. The operating profits will look good. That should come in high by around 50%. And the margins this time around, consolidated margins we're working with around 22 percent that compares with around 18 percent so it looks very good on a year-on-year -year basis on a sequential basis it should come off from around that 24 percent that we saw uh, in this in uh, the quarter three uh, the net loss is what we are expecting of around 440 crores that should be in the range of around 350 to around 450 uh, crores because of their big finance outgo what are the key factors then that will drive this good set of numbers steel volumes that will come in higher Realizations as well are much higher on a year-on-year -year basis. Even in the month of January, we have seen that prices have been increased. So that's what will help them. Higher volumes as well as uh, higher average selling prices, that's what will offset any kind of input increases that we have seen. Remember for JSPL, their exposure to coking coal is far lower in comparison to other companies because they use a, a higher amount of thermal coal as well. So keep that in mind. The big spot that we saw in coking coal will not hit them that much. In terms of JPL, a couple of brokerages are expecting the PLF at around 38%. EBITDA should come in at around 250 crores. That's for JPL, uh, their subsidiary. Uh, what really will not play in their favor is that we know power demand, merchant sales really, the demand has been very, very weak. Uh, moving to their global ventures, then that should improve. Remember, the Oman operations uh, should look quite good. Even the coal mining operations are there. We could see uh, some kind of improvement. So Oman steel plant as well as the coal operations, that could help them. Net loss, well, that should be on expected lines because of higher depreciation as well as higher interest costs. The management commentary, how they're going to bring down their debt is going to be very, very important. And also we have a preference issue that's coming in for uh, the promoters. What price is that coming at? That's something that the street will be looking forward to. But